Steve Peichel brings in the highest rated recruit in program history along with one other freshman and four transfers in the class. I'll go over all six players on how they can fit into the Rutgers system. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Stay tuned to the end to see how Gavin Griffiths could impact Rutgers. Noah Fernandez is a 5'11 point guard transferring from UMass. He averaged 14.9 points, 5.3 assists, and shot 45.2% from three. He was injured most of his senior season. Fernandez is a playmaking point guard that's also capable of knocking down a perimeter jumper. He had an assist rate of 32.4% his junior season, the 37th highest in college basketball that year. Fernandez ran 425 pick and rolls that resulted in a shot attempt or turnover, and he was in the 75th percentile for efficiency. Simply speaking, Fernandez can effectively run lots of pick and rolls. His initial instinct is to facilitate for others, but if nothing is there, he likes getting to his pull up much more than getting to the rim. At 5'11", he has to do a good job of creating enough separation for himself to get his jumper off. He has really good speed with the ball in his hands, which allows him to probe a bit more on offense, letting plays develop. The ability Fernandez has in pick and roll will give Rutgers something that they can go to any time down the court that they need. This will be important as they struggled on that end. Fernandez is also comfortable spotting up from three when playing off ball. He's a true Rutgers player, willing to really get into guys defensively and staying in front of the ball. He has real upside guarding opposing point guards. Fernandez is a great fit for Rutgers. He can run an offense and knock down perimeter shots while also being a solid defender. He also just has a bit of that it factor at times, which fans will be hoping translates to the Big Ten as well. Emmanuel Ogble is a 6'10 center transferring from Monroe College, a JUCO. He averaged 12.3 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks a game there. Ogble has only been playing basketball for a few seasons, but he has shown he has potential to be a force down low. Ogbele is a hustler more than anything, and that translates into almost all facets of his game. On the defensive end, he'll be a drop big that has pretty active hands down low. He moves well at his size, which allows him to help cover a bit more ground near the rim. He did struggle a bit on the perimeter, but that's why he'll be a drop big against pick and rolls. He has some natural rim protecting instincts that'll be fun to watch develop over time. On offense, Ogbele has mainly been used as someone stationed in the dunker spot or occasionally rolling to the rim. It seemed like when he was given the ball in the post, his post moves were pretty predetermined. If he gets good positioning, he can finish at the rim, but otherwise it'll take a bit for him to develop. The other area Ogbele does damage on offense is on the offensive glass. He crashes the glass really hard and almost every time. He'll be a pain for Big Ten teams to try and block out. Ogbele is a big that can learn from Amori some while Cliff still takes a lot of minutes. Ogbele has potential to fill a similar role in the future. Jeremiah Williams is a 6'5 point guard transferring from Iowa State. He was hurt all last season and played at Temple before. It's unclear when he'll be ready at Rutgers. Williams averaged 9.5 points, 4.3 assists, and 1.4 steals a game at Temple. He's very much a pass first point guard, having an assist rate of 31.0 during his sophomore year. He's at his best when he can use his size to generate a paint touch and then spray out from there. He's really confident in attacking baseline and finding a skip pass while hanging in the air. He does a lot of his facilitating in transition or in pick and roll. Williams has been more of a ball dominant guy throughout college. He didn't shoot great, only shooting 23.1% from three on 2.4 attempts a game. He much prefers getting all the way to the rim and that's where he's most efficient. He shot 63.5% at the rim on 2.5 attempts a game at Temple. He doesn't have the best handle, but at 6'5", he's able to take advantage of a lot of matchups that allow him to use his size to get to the rim. I'm looking forward to watching Williams on the defensive end as well. He's a really good screen navigator and at his size, he could easily guard 1s through 3s in the Big Ten. He has good foot speed that allows him to stay in front and also good length to be able to disrupt the ball handler. I do want to see a bit more engagement when he's off ball though. Williams may not play for a little bit, but he can be this bigger facilitator that Rutgers can use on both ends of the ball. Austin Williams is a 6'4 guard transferring from Hartford after sitting out last season at Florida International due to injury. He averaged 16.1 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 3.4 assists a game at Hartford. Williams is a guy that really attacks the rim. He took 207 shots at the rim, shooting 61% on them. He's a combo guard that I think will be more of a two for Rutgers. He's a guy that has run a lot of pick and rolls, really wanting to get to the rim, but he had just as much time spotting up on the perimeter. He isn't a great three-point shooter, and I think he needs a lot of time to get his shot set, but he does a solid job attacking closeouts. Williams just kind of always has control of the pace. 
He's not the most explosive athlete, but he seems to always be moving at whatever pace he dictates. He's more of a straight line driver, but he has a good hesitation that gives him enough space to generate a first step. When getting into the paint, Williams does a good job of using his body to try and shield defenders. This may be the most important thing for him to have translate to the Big Ten. Williams showed off some passing ability, but he's also forced some at times. I'm interested to see how he translates defensively. Williams seemed to be upright a lot, but I think there's room for him to get the job done on that end. Williams will most likely back up Derek Simpson this season, providing a scoring punch off the bench. Jermichael Davis is a 6'2 point guard ranked number 240 in the 2023 class. He averaged 22.0 points, 13.1 rebounds, and 4.1 assists a game his junior season. Davis is a player that'll take what the defense gives him. He can facilitate, but he isn't going to be forcing a lot of tougher passes. He'll be a guy that makes the right read more often than not. Davis is really quick with the ball in his hands, and he's at his best when he can get out in the open and run. I'll be interested to see if Peichel gives him that freedom or not to run some. He can be pretty shifty in the half court at times too, and he needs it to be able to generate paint touches. He's on the smaller side, so he'll rely on quickness to generate any space he needs. Per his max preps, Davis shot 49% from three his junior season. I think there's definite upside for him to become a solid shooter at the Big Ten level. That'll be an important skill for him to have translate as I do worry some about what kind of finisher he can be at the rim. Davis wasn't an elite defender, but he has a lot of upside as a point of attack defender. He moves his feet well, which should help him stay attached more on ball. Davis may not get a ton of minutes this season, but it'll be a huge boost to the backcourt if he can produce for Rutgers. Gavin Griffiths is a 6'7 wing ranked number 45 in the 2023 class. He averaged 24.0 points, 8.0 rebounds, and 4.0 assists his junior season. Griffiths is one of, if not the best shooter in the entire class. Off the dribble, coming off screens, or spacing beyond the arc, it didn't really matter for Griffiths. He's super confident in his shot and should provide a much needed perimeter shot to Rutgers. It can be a bit of a rigid shot at times, but Griffith does a good job of getting it off pretty quickly. He should be able to eventually be a guy that can be schemed open threes, especially with his range. Griffiths is an elite shooter, but it isn't the only reason he's a top 50 player. Griffiths has some good on-ball traits as well. He can generate his own shot, although I think he'll be better spotting up. In addition, he moves the ball really well and makes a lot of good reads. He's solid at facilitating off of his drive since he isn't as comfortable shooting at the rim. I really think there's upside for Griffiths to be a secondary facilitator at some point. On defense, Griffiths relies on his length to cause disruptions. I think he'll mainly be tasked with guarding opposing threes. He isn't the best athlete, but he can do enough on the defensive end to be able to fit into the Rutgers system. Rutgers should be super excited about their highest ranked player to ever put on a Rutgers uniform, or at least until 2024 comes around with Ace Bailey. Griffiths may end up being a starter for this squad from day one, and he could end up being one of the better freshmen in the Big Ten. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Click here for more Big Ten team previews.